one of the most asked questions that we have on social media and on um, the support portal has to do with the pH probe and calibrating the probes. The alkalinity test is, is determined by measuring the pH of the testing water as the acid is added. So if your pH probe is not calibrated correctly, you're not going to get a proper test, right? Yeah. So the first thing that we need to do is when you're calibrating the probe, first tip calibrating the probe is yep. you must acclimate the solution mm -hmm. so that is the same temperature. So how do we do that? Float it. The easiest way. Float it in your sump. Pretty simple, yes. huh? Yeah, float it in your sump yeah, for about 10, 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah. And then the temperature will, will acclimate. It'll be the same thing. It's almost like floating your fish when you come back, you know, get your fish and all that. So float it for 10 minutes because temperature has, uh, it does affect calibration. It does affect the way the pH is read. Okay. Probe number two, okay, is before you calibrate the probe, before you start the process, rinse it with RODI water because you don't want any of that water, salt water, which has a pH in it to contaminate the blister that you have, yeah. and it's going to throw off the test. So that, that mm -hmm. 7.01 test is not going to be 7.01. It may be 7.10 or 7.2. A little cup of RO water, stir it around a little bit, pull it out, pat it dry a with a little paper towel. You don't have to scrub it or anything like that, a little mm -hmm. pat. And should they do that after every single, so should they do it at the beginning? Should they do it after calibrating with the seven, after calibrating with the four Absolutely. and after calibrating? Yeah. You want to make sure they, that those solutions are off of the probe. When calibrating a, a conductivity probe, which is a different one, yeah. it says right here, perch the probe from all water by mm -hmm. blowing air into the probe holes. How do we yeah. do that? So this is really a big one, but if you, if you look at the, if the conductivity probe, you'll see those little vent holes. If you got any canned air, it really makes it easier, or you can just blow into it, blow that, that water out of that probe, and you'll, you'll, you'll be surprised how much is still sitting inside. Yeah, and what I usually do is I, with my both hands, I cap, I kind of cover the holes that I'm not using, and then I blow into one, so all the air is going in there. Yeah. And what happens is water gets trapped in there, and that water then is old water that is no longer that that probably is no longer the same conductivity the same salinity and that throws up the test and the water gets trapped because when the probes are new they come with a, a particular inert oil from the factory yeah. and that oil prevents the water from going in and out in and out and that's why we say that the probe can take up to a month to calibrate because technically that oil has to be washed off by the salt water. So once that oil is gone, the water can go up and down without getting stuck in there. And that's what makes the, that's, that's technically what the breaking process is, is washing those oils. Okay. Which brings us to the last point or the last tip is the last tip is patience. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's the hardest one. <laughs> that is the hardest Hard. one because, the, because a pH probe can take up to a week to calibrate, to, to break in. And then a salinity or conductivity probe can take up to a month. The biggest problem that we have is that people tend to calibrate right when they get the probe. Yeah. And then after it breaks in, they don't calibrate again. I know. And that's, that's a big no, no. You have to, you know, you have to, yes. If you want to calibrate at the beginning, you can. It, you, but you got to do it with the with the awareness that the calibration will change because the probe has to break in. So you will need to calibrate again once the probe is properly bro broken in. You, you know, know, another little tip is if you don't have time to calibrate, um, just physically blow it out with air or just, you know, with your mouth, blow it out. And then you put it back in and you'll see that that reading will come back to where you expect it to be. Correct. But at the same time, if the oils are still there, Correct. then that air is going to get trapped again. You can speed up the process by soaking the conductivity probe in some kind of alcohol, but mm -hmm. that's not going to, that's not going to 
remove the cal the, the breaking process. It's just going to speed it up. It may not yeah. take it, it's, it's going to take about two weeks instead of taking four weeks, but it's still going to have a breaking period. You know, I usually grab the probe and I just stick it in the water and I'm going to leave it there for a month. And then yeah. after a month, then that's when I go in and I do the calibration and yeah. everything. Because I know that if I'm going to try to calibrate, I'm just going to waste calibration fluid and I'm just going to get frustrated. Mm -hmm. So the, the hardest, the number one tip and the most difficult tip to do is to be patient. Yeah.